the magic school bus in the bat cave written by Jeanette Lane and illustrated by Robin Cuddy we have fun in Miss Frizzle's class there is always a surprise her dress is a surprise her shoes are a surprise where will we go on our next class trip we don't know but it will be fun Today we will study bats. Bats are amazing, says the frizz. Can I bat first? I love baseball. Not that kind of bat, Carlos. Are bats birds? No, by Phoebe. Birds have feathers and lay eggs. Bats are mammals. Mammals have fur and give birth to live babies. Bats are the only mammals that can fly. All of a sudden, Tim says, A lot of bats live in my house. I wonder why, says Phoebe. It's time for a trip. Let's go to Tim's house and see, Miss Frizzle says. My dad is home today. He can help us find out about the bats, says Tim. The frizz has gone batty. That happened a long time ago. When we get to Tim's, he looks around. That's funny, says Tim. My dad should be home today. Where can he be? Where are the bats? asks D.A. This way. We look at Tim's house. We see lots of bats. They are hanging under the roof. These are little brown bats. They are little and brown. And they are upside down. Bats hang around by Wanda. Bats sleep upside down. They hold on with their feet. They can fly as soon as their feet let go. Sleeping up high keeps them safe from other animals. D.A. reads to us. Bats live under roofs and bridges in buildings, trees, and caves. These bats just moved here, says Tim. Back to the bus, kids. Let's find the bats' old home. Maybe they can go back to it. We all get back on the bus. The bus starts to change. Now it's the little brown bat bus. We fly into the woods. I don't see any bats yet. I do. Look at our bus. We look for the bat's old home. We look under a bridge. Lots of bats are here. What kind of bats are these? They are the big brown bats. So this is the little brown bat's home. Millions of Bats by Ralphie. Some bats live alone. Others live in groups. Millions of bats can live together. Even in big groups, moms can always find their babies. A mom knows her babies cry and smell. The sun has set. It is getting dark. The bats leave their nests. They fly up into the sky. Where are they going? They are going to hunt for food. It's dinner time. What do bats eat? By Carlos. Some bats eat fruit. Some eat nectar from flowers. But most bats eat bugs. One bat can eat more than 1,000 insects in an hour. A group of bats can eat thousands of insects. So more bats means fewer bugs. It is dark in the woods, and we can hardly see. How do bats find bugs if they can't see them? They aren't using their eyes. They're using their ears. How Bats Catch Bugs by D.A. Bats use sounds to find things in the dark. They make noises. The noises bounce back to them as echoes. Bats use the echoes to make a picture in their minds. The picture is just like seeing in the dark. Echolocation. Bats locate or find their food by using echoes. We spot a cave. Maybe our bats used to live there. The cave looks scary. Let's not go in, Arnold says. We have to. It could be the bat's old home, says Tim. We must not bother the bats. Be very quiet, class. It is dark in the cave. We can't see any bats. Then Miss Frizzle gives us special goggles. Now we can see them. Wow, look at the bats. These are eastern pipistrels. Then this isn't the little brown bat's home. What is all that dark stuff? By Arnold. 
The dark stuff on the floor is bat droppings. When bats live somewhere, they leave droppings. You see them in caves, under bridges, and near trees. Tim's bats did not live here. Let's keep looking, the frizz says. Where should we go next? I'm ready to go home. We hear a strange noise. It is very loud. We follow the sounds. Is this a good idea? Do you have to ask? On our way, we see a tree. It is lying on the ground. The tree has a big hole in it. We see bat droppings around the tree. This tree must be the bat's old home. They had to leave when the tree fell. I guess they can't move back. Let's keep following that noise, kids. Now the bus is just a bus again. Miss Frizzle follows the sound to Tim's house. We see Tim's dad banging a hammer. He's making a wooden house for the bats. I'm building a bat house. They need a safe place to live. We all help Tim's dad. The bats can live in here, he says. Bat houses are made so bats don't live in people's houses, D.A. explains. The bats will need to move again now. At least they don't have much to pack. The little brown bats have a new home. Now it's time for us to go home. Bye, Tim. Bye, Tim's dad. The next day, Tim is happy. It was fun to help the bats, he says. Our next field trip will be fun, too. Everything needs a home. The bat box is perfect for Tim's bats. My home is perfect for me. Did you see the frizz's dress? It looks like it's been recycled. Bats are helpful. Miss Frizzle is right. Bats are amazing animals. They eat insect pests like mosquitoes. They help pollinate flowers just like bees. Their droppings, also called guano, can be used as fertilizer by farmers. But be careful. People still need to be careful around bats. They are wild animals. Never try to touch or handle a wild bat. Lots of bats. We only mention a few kinds of bats in this book. But there are many kinds of bats. They come in all shapes and sizes and live all over the world. Here are a few other kinds of bats. Malayan flying fox, the biggest bat, 16 inches long, 5 foot 7 inch wingspan. Bumblebee bat, smallest bat, 1 inch long. Diadem leaf nose bat, a strange looking bat. 